What's up, everybody? It's Jack and Dan. And today, someone sent us a water bottle to review. All right, there's the package to Jack and Dan. Jack's going to open this up and check it out. Let's see what this is all about here. This is a sports water bottle. Where's this from? This is, uh, it says Fierce Wolf. Mm -hmm. Fierce Wolf. Let's open it up, take a look at it. Oh, wow, look at that. So it's kind of like a pink and blue plastic water jug. It's got a little handle on it there, which is nice. It's interesting. One of these guys with a little spout there, huh? Yeah, it's got an interesting material to it. It's kind of like... Now let's look at the side here. Oh, this is one of these like reminder type of things to say, hey, make sure you're drinking enough. Gives you little pointers and you go throughout the day, then you <laughs> refill it around lunchtime and then you do it again to make sure you're drinking enough. Well, that's a great idea. Let's check out the uh, website. Uh, before we do that, we'll check out these little instructions. Comes with one of these little brushes to clean the spouts and things like that, which is always nice. I never feel like these kind of things are clean enough. But uh, looks like here you just clean it, detergent, just like you would anything else. Not recommended to use super hot or super cold liquids. And I'm not sure... Uh, we don't recommend putting in the dishwasher. All right, here it is online. This is a 32-ounce sports bottle. Looks like it's $11.99. And it's like BPA-free and all this kind of stuff made from um, Fierce Wolf. Looks like the ratings are pretty good. Uh, 81 ratings. Does look like there are other colors. Jack's not incredibly happy about these colors. But those kind of things don't seem to matter as much these days as they did like when I was growing up. That seems to be the truth, doesn't it, kiddo? Yes, things have changed. Things changed for the better. Now, it does look like they do have a black one. For some reason, some of these colors are more expensive. Now, it could have to do with how popular they are. Maybe there's more of a demand, so they lift the price up. Or it could be that they only have a certain amount of them and they're more rare. So it pretty much goes over the same things that it had in the manual there. And it shows all that. Let's take a look at how this whole drinking mechanism works here, kiddo. So I'll hold the bottle here. And this is kind of neat, the little incentives. Remember your goal, keep drinking, never give up, almost there. That's always nice. How does this little doodad work here? So uh, it has like a thing that you like pull. And it's like a lock. And opens. Oh, look at that. It kind of pops straw. up. And also, it, like, you can put this, like, like, it's like a thing. You can put it on your, like, backpack or something. Oh, like a, uh, what do they call those hooks? Uh, uh, carabiners. Carabiners. And then I think this is a detachable straw. I'm not going to try because I don't want to break it. But I'm pretty sure you can, like, clean it and stuff. So that would be easier for cleaning. Take that off. Pop that top open again. That's like a little silicone mouthpiece. Looks pretty comfortable. That's pretty neat, right? Yeah, you know, again, I'm I'm a, I'm a I'm a simplistic person. I would rather just have a a bottle and a top. But uh, you know, whatever whatever floats your boat, I guess, whatever you like. Yeah, they do seem they do seem very popular these days. And it's nice to have the colors, you know, I mean, instead of just being boring stainless steel. We use a lot of stainless steel ones. Well, hey, we're heading out to the trail in Rocky River, so we're going to fill this up and we're going to take it with us and you can try it out. You're probably going to drink the whole thing. And we'll give it a true test. All right, washed it out, rinsed it out, filled it up out of the old fridge filter there. Let's go hit these stairs, kiddo. I do like this handle, and I also like that it would like, it looks like it would fit in a, a bike, a bike um, holder for like when we take bike rides. Yeah, to go on the bikes? Yes. Yeah, that would be a pretty good size one for going on a bike. All right, there's Jack's new water bottle. There's the stairs. He's already up them and running around the trail. I'm gonna be sitting here doing the stairs. We're gonna follow up. He's probably gonna smash this whole thing just an hour of being here, it's a hot day. Now me personally, I like these big old stainless steel ones. I get them for about six bucks on the clearance rack at Mark's, been getting them there for years. They last a really long time. They're just powder coated. A lot of times I actually just get the stainless steel one which doesn't have any paint at all. I do like the lining in them. And one of the reasons I like the lining is because it stays cold. One of the issues with a water bottle like this is that sitting out here and using it in the hot sun in a hot day, it's not really going to stay cold. Now, Jack doesn't really care. He's like, hey, listen, I just want to drink water. I don't really care. I, on the other hand, like really cold water. That is why I use this sort of lined type of thing. And like I said, from a cost standpoint, 
You could see them up to $20, $30, but we do buy them on the clearance rack at resale shops around us for about 6 to $7. So, you know, personally, that's my outlook on this. We're going to see how he feels. We're going to see if this stays cold enough for him on a day like today, and then we'll kind of follow up here. There comes Jack coming down. Nice job, buddy. It's a lot of stairs out here. There's George working on the stairs. Meet some friends, George. So yes, I met Blue. I'm a super wiener. Now is your very hot day out here. Look how hot it is. These catfish are actually coming right up to the surface and eating mosquito larvae. It is noon right now and about 90 degrees and humid. Very hot day out here in the park. Look at this guy just eating right off the top. Just to show you how hot it is. It's like a big kind of carp, not necessarily a catfish. It's chowing down through those weeds. That's how hot of a day it is out here doing this. Come on, winner. Come on, super Come on, George. Doing the steps. Come on, Come on buddy. Woo! That's the second time up. Nice Woo! job, Joe. All right, Jack's rocking. He's taking one of his little pit stops here. That's staying pretty cold in the shade. It's staying decent. You know, yeah. It's decently cold. Not super cold like in an insulated one. Yeah. This is uh, Pamela's here. She's got an insulated one. Hers is nice and colorful, just like yours. Again, a little heavier. That's the other drawback, is they're a little heavier. Yeah. The other thing is something like this that's lying doesn't sweat. That thing's gonna be sweating a lot pretty soon. We're gonna see if it sweats anymore. It doesn't look like it's sweating very much yet. It's got some kind of special lining. Yeah, it looks like it has a material that doesn't really sweat. So yeah, cause sweating's bad, especially on a bike. You don't want it coming down, dripping on your sprocket and stuff, you know? Yeah. All right, hit that trail, let's go again. All right, rocking and rolling. This is like, what, your third or fourth drink? Yeah. I don't know. Is that thing sweating at all yet? No, not really. No water? No con condensation on the sides? No. And maybe some kind of special space-age material there, huh? <laughs> that's kind of nice. All right, well, that's a bonus. So far, it's looking like a pretty good thing. Got the little motivational. What's the, where, what line are you down to? What motivational line are you down to? I'm down to... Uh... Remember your goal. Yeah. All right, run around another couple times. Remember your goal, man. George has had enough. He's going to go in mommy's bag and get carried, is huh? He zipped? Is he zipped yeah, he's good to go. All right, so Jack is just smashing this already. We did a lot of floors, a lot of running today in the park. Very hot day. Really awesome, huh? Yeah. So this thing still, this whole time it was sitting here, it wasn't the shade, but it didn't sweat at all. No, it didn't. So that was a little shocking. I was proven wrong by the assumption that I made thinking that it would, um, you know, sweat as compared to a lined can. So I am impressed. That is a very good pro on my list. Yeah, it's got a cool material to it, so it feels cool. I'm impressed. So basically, we're going to fill this back up, and you're going to use it for the rest of the day. Yeah. And we'll go home here, and we'll give our final thoughts. Yeah. All right, so we're back home. We're going to have a little early lunch. We're going to uh, refill this. So it was uh, pretty cool. You thought it was pretty nice, huh? Yeah, it didn't sweat. It 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 looks you know it looks pretty cool. Stayed it's, relatively cold. Yeah, stayed relatively cold, and uh, it's uh, it's nice. This is a new thing comeback with the blend of colors. I mean, look at me. I got a tie dye shirt on. That's a new up and coming thing that they're doing again with the fashion. Yeah. So that's neat. So honestly, it kind of uh, outweighed our expectations. Did a little better than we thought. Um, overall, continue to uh, you know. Like and subscribe, obviously, right? Bell for notifications when we post new videos. We got plenty of those coming up. So hey, we will put a link in the description about this. Overall, you thought it was pretty cool. Thought it was nice. And uh, hey, check it out if you're looking for a little motivation to make sure you're drinking enough water. Or you're trying to make some lifestyle changes. Drink a little less soda and thing juice, and just get more water. It's a good incentive, isn't it? Yeah, a little less energy drinks and uh, just more water. All right, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye. -bye.